What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another video. Today I have some massive, massive news. This is, oh my gosh. It's what we've been waiting for actually. It's been, how long has it been since Security Breach? It's been over six months now. Wow. Okay, well, we now have an announcement for a DLC and this is coming out in 2023. Uh, returning guests will be granted free admission to the Pizzaplex. There is no way that this DLC is going to be free. That's crazy. Seriously, I did not think uh, that a lot of this would appear. Uh, we're going to talk about all of this in a minute. But I am really surprised by literally all of this. Like. Everything has really impressed me. First of all, 2023 as a release date. Hopefully they don't change that. Hopefully it's not like Security Breach where they keep delaying it. But 2023 is the set date and I am completely fine with that. They have until 2024 or whatever to, uh, to you know, release this. Uh, and yeah, I am really surprised that it's free as well. Like, I, I think everyone's going to be really happy with that. Security Breach in the first place was quite a lot of money and a lot of people weren't really prepared to pay that especially seeing the quality of the game when it first came out uh, i do also have to update you there has been an update on playstation versions i believe only uh, and the game looks better i think it runs better i i'm i think it's going in the right direction and now they're working on a dlc and yeah, I am really excited for this. So let's finally take a look at this picture that they have provided us with. And wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, first big thing I'm gonna say is that we see a little girl protagonist now. Uh, who is this? <laughs> who in the world is this? It could be another one of the missing children as we know from the newspaper in Security Breach. Gregory was a missing child, okay, and now he's probably a robot. We don't know for sure, but I think that might be that. That might be a big thing. Who is this random girl? Is it much like Gregory is kind of like a robot to portray the crying child? Is this a robot to portray Elizabeth? We didn't really see Elizabeth in the game. We saw basically every other child that had gone missing we saw the missing children in uh flip flipping the blob we saw the crying child michael afton uh and of course uh blah, 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 charlotte you know we saw all of these different animatronics and uh i mean actually i do say we saw charlotte but that's not 100% confirmed. I think that we saw Charlotte in the Nightmare Staff Bot. That's just my opinion. We also saw Cassidy in the arcade game, but not really Elizabeth. People theorized that Elizabeth had something to do with Vanessa or Vanny because of the patient tapes where basically Elizabeth's story is told, where, you know, the mother went and I guess committed suicide while the father was just kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm taking you now. It's like, it's the Afton story, but we didn't really see Elizabeth anywhere. And so I'm really excited if this has something to do with Elizabeth. This could even be patient 46, because I, I know that's a weird theory, but people did say that it sounded like it was a child. Uh, and that's a key thing. And people also thought that, even Matt Pat said it himself, that it might be a character that we just haven't seen yet, patient 46. So really this could this could come into play a lot here. This has big lore implications. The fact that we're probably playing as a girl here. Uh, I don't think it's like a past Vanessa or something because you know, I, I, I really feel like this is a sequel and I think I want to stress that now. When does this take place? The sequel, well, the DLC is called Ruin, first of all. And we see Gregory, okay? We, we, see, we see Gregory's face. Really, that kind of has to be, that, that, that kind of has to be Gregory. Uh, <laughs> and this really has to be after all of the, all of security breaches happen. And people have been theorizing, you know, is, is the canon ending Princess Quest or is the canon ending the Afton ending? And I think a lot more people have been saying the Afton ending and I think you may be right in that. Uh, mainly because of what I see here, it does all look like a sequel and it also looks like, 
you know, the golden Fre the golden Glamrock Freddy statue has fallen down. Chica is wrecked. Like that happened after Gregory came. All of this is is pointing to it being a sequel DLC, which I was not expecting. But the place is ruined. It has to be surely after the Afton ending. And so that lead leads me to think like. What happened to Gregory? What happened to Glamrock Freddy? It was a one-time use elevator down to the to the pizza place. So did they not manage to escape? Is this child going to have to find a way to get them out somehow? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, that's uh, there's a lot of questions here to be to be answered. I am just really, really, really excited for this. It looks like it's going to be a lot, like really good. Uh, it looks like it's going to have story and I really, really, really hope that there is story in this. Uh, mainly because it, if it is a sequel, it will tell us what happened after, you know, the whole Gregory shebang. So yeah, I, I really want it to tell a story. I want it to be simplistic. I want I don't want them to be too ambitious this time because we saw what happened with Security Breach. It got delayed through multiple years, quite literally. I think the first uh, the first date that was like released for it was 2020, and then we got it at the end of 2021. So like this, hopefully it will come out in 2023. Hopefully it won't be buggy, and hopefully there won't be too many things missing. Um, I'm also hoping that they bring back, you know, some of the unused features from the base game. And I think this is a really good opportunity to do that. Maybe add some more arcade machines, complete the arcade conspiracy. That would be really sick. And maybe there'll be side like missions as well. I don't want to be too ambitious with this either because like, I don't want to get, have my ex expectations too high, uh, especially knowing what happened with Security Breach. But all I can say is that I'm really excited for this. I honestly don't have that much more to say. Uh, what I will say is that there's like a weird set of eyes in the top left. I wonder who that is. I wonder if they'll bring in more animatronics. I wonder if they'll, you know, bring back... Uh, oh, that could be Moon. That could be Moon. I wonder if they'll, like, bring back the DJ Music Man. Bring back Sun and Moon. Uh, I, I really want them to bring back those characters. Uh, especially those characters, uh, but also the Glamrocks, all of, all of the crew. I wanted to bring them back, maybe... It's hard because I, I want a lot, but I want them to keep it simplistic. I want them to... Like, I'll be okay with anything, really, but I just don't want it to release the same way Security Breach did. I want them to show that they, they, they learnt their lesson. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just pointing out a few little details here. Gregory in this one TV screen says, help me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Gregory is somehow making, like, commu communicating with, with her. I don't know, but this poster, it looks, it looks like a movie poster. It's amazing, it's such a good teaser, and I'm really hoping we get more information on this very soon. So, make sure you subscribe. So you can see when that information comes out, I'll keep you updated on any FNAF news, whether that be Security Breach or the books, which is what I'm mainly focused on these days because I'm a saddo. Let me know what you think about all of this. Let me know what you want to see in the DLC. And I've been Ozone, but I have to go Zone. See you later. Goodbye.